What is up, y'all? It's Jay Coffee back with another episode for you guys. Everyone new out there, tap in, rock with me. Make sure you sub to the channel. Get the daily coffee, the news we cover over here. But let's get right into this and talk about 50 Cent, man. As we know, 50 Cent, um, you know, been doing his thing lately, man. Getting involved with that Pop Smoke album was a very smart move for Fifth. I know he had a little drama with some of Pop's team, R.I.P., pop smoke but um you know all in all good look for 50 you know keeping them relevant with the music but anyways we know fifth loves the gram he's always on instagram clowning um you know mr petty they call him i mean how, how many times does this dude make the blogs you know uh in the news and stuff because of his instagram antics all the time you know what i mean let ja rule have something to say um questionable or something like that or something happened to him that that's not so good you know fifth's gonna seize the opportunity but um you know uh, like i'm clowning around and fifth does enjoy clowning around but all in all we know the man is very strategic with his business and everything like that but it seems he's having some issues with instagram right but um he's talking about he's gonna quit ig and Listen, I, I don't know, like get in the comments, man. I think this man is addicted to the gram. I just can't see him putting it down as I've seen him say this a couple of other times. And he was back within a day or two. Right. And this time he's super fronting or capping or whatever you want to call it. Right. Because he hasn't even quit. Right. Like I said, there was a couple other times they censor 50 or something like that happened. And he was like, oh, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Um, I'll rock with my Twitter account bang he was back in like two days you know what i mean well this time around um you know he's saying he's been shadow banned and he's uh you know saying that they're taking down his posts again censoring them you'll see the screenshots he threw this one up where he got the community guidelines um you know you broke the rules uh email and he said i don't understand this why am i getting this it says the post is removed for bullying but the post is still on my page. Okay, time to take a break from IG, right? This was just yesterday. And then he also threw this other one up with the, you know, you've been, have you been shadow banned screenshot? And um, he said, I've been shadow banned. This page has been stuck at 25 milli for a year, shaking my head, but I'm everywhere, so I don't care. So, you know, they're taking down his posts according to him. He's been shadow banned which I don't know, you know, I don't really fo follow 50 cents numbers like that. I do follow them on the gram. Um, I actually know people who've been shadow banned before, you know, and for those who ain't familiar, um, you know, it's kind of like you did something, you know, to, to unofficially get on the bad list. And next thing you know, you know, people type you in the search bar and it's hard for them to find your name. You know what I mean? Like for certain rappers that have been shadow banned, if you search that artist, you'll get fan pages and fake pages before the real one with the check mark. You know what I mean? So Fifth's claiming all that. Well, then peep this out. Um, this was just yesterday. Like I said, this man's put up five IG posts since then. Right. And, you know, he's addicted to the gram. That's what I'm talking about. Like, stop it, 50. You're not about to quit Instagram. This isn't this is like the third time you done said this every time you come back within a day or two. And this time you 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 never stopped. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like fifth. Like I said, the man is strategic with his business. But this guy loves Instagram. Like, I think he's truly hooked. You know, we all know people like that who are addicted to social media. Add 50 cent to the list. Um you guys let me know what you think. You know what I mean? Tapping in them comments. Is a fifth uh, an IG addict? Is fifth, uh, has he been shadow banned? You know, did that whole, uh, you know, Meg Thee Stallion thing get him in trouble? Like, what's your thoughts? You know what I mean? But um, it is what it is. Now, let, let's slide over here and talk about Posty, Post Malone, right? Now, listen, Posty, since he surfaced in the hip hop game, you know, uh, there's been a lot of discussions about Posty. Is this guy a culture vulture? Which I feel culture vulture at time times can be an unfair, um, you know, uh, tag that could be put on someone. Now, Post Malone's got a couple like club type hit, hits that I rock with. Right. But those discussions that I was saying that people bring up regarding Posty is. 
you know, like I said, he's a culture vulture. Some people say uh, this guy's music ain't hip hop. He's not a rapper. Um, you know, there's been people saying and it, and it, uh, it brought up bigger discussions. Should he be able to be nominated for hip hop awards at award shows, etc.? When at the end of the day, man, them award shows are a scam, right? I mean, that's a whole nother uh, subject and I've covered it in other videos, but they're a scam, right? But um, all in all, um, you know, Posty came out and said, oh, I'm not just a hip hop artist. I'm, I'm a lot of other genres all together, you know, but anyways, man, my point is, is he's had some conflict within the hip hop industry as far as being accepted, right? Well, I don't know why, because this isn't brand news, you know, that uh, Post Malone went and shaved his head you know like before people were saying this guy looked like uh trailer trash now is it me like this you know uh that he just did joe rogan it was popping up in my news feed and my notifications and such but is it me or does post malone look like like a hip-hop white supremacist skinhead or something a neo-nazi in the rap game now like I don't know, like, all in all, is this not a good look? Was that a bad idea for Post Malone? Like, you know what I mean? And then what's even crazier is in that uh, Spencer Confidential movie, uh, which is a good movie on Netflix uh, with Mark Wahlberg, where he was an ex-cop that was framed, and he's got to get out and clear his name. And, you know, uh, it's a whole adventure the man goes on. I ain't going to spoil it all for you guys. Tap it in the comments if you did see it, though. But in it... Post Malone plays uh, a, a white supremacist dude running with like the Aryan Brotherhood in a uh, prison or whatever. You know what I mean? Like a, a white power dude from Boston. So he played, you know, and he still had the hair in that one. Uh, and then so he played a white supremacist. Now he done shaved his head and really is looking like a white supremacist. Like, I don't know. I just had to tap in and see what the people think about this, you know, like, Posty, I don't know, man. So let's talk about all this in them comments, guys. If you're new over here, the comment section is all about, you know, is all is what this channel is all about. My bad, y'all. I'm all over the place. Um, so get in the comments. Let's talk about all this. You know, um, do you rock with Post Malone? I mean, like I said, dude has some hits. Um, I'm not calling the man a Nazi. I'm just saying he looking like one. So let's talk about that. About fifth, is he the IG addict? Is he? <laughs> taking bumps uh, instagram likes like what's the deal with this man he can't put it down sub to the channel hit the bell daily content we also cover sports current events true crime all kinds of stuff guys thanks for watching i'm out of here peace